All right, fourth graders, this is your math menu for Monday. You, this is a little bit different, but what you're going to see is that you have an appetizer and main course and dessert. So each day you're going to go through those first. The appetizer is always going to be review. The main course is going to be new information or review information. And then the dessert is done only if you get done with everything else. And it's usually going to be a game that you will have a link to on um, Google Classroom. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to be doing all week is we're going to be doing multiples. And what we've done is we've asked you to list the multiples of four. And you'll notice that down here, when you do your multiplication, we're helping you out there because we are going to be multiplying by four, okay? So remember that multiples are counting numbers and anything I write on my paper, you should be writing on yours, okay? Counting numbers or skip counting, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and list the multiples of four. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. It's like I accidentally gave you an extra one. Just mark that one off. Okay. Now, we know that when you're counting by these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is 4 times 5. This is 4 times 6, 4 times 7, 4 times 8, 4 times 9, 4 times 10. Okay. The next thing that we're going to be reviewing all week is subtraction. So we are going to walk through this subtraction problem together, and we will have to do some regrouping. Okay, so um, let's practice that. So first we're going to do 6 minus 4, which is 2. 1 minus 2 can't do. The 1 becomes an 11. Cross out the 4, make it a 3. Now 11 minus 2 is 9, and 3 minus um, 3 is 0. So our answer is 92. Okay. Now for multiplying, I'm going to do the standard algorithm, but I'm also going to do the box method right next to it. Okay. So 6 times 4 is 24. Here's where I see students making mistakes. We're writing, I'm going to use a pencil so I can erase. Do not write 24 like this. We have to carry that 2 in the, up above. Okay? We're going to carry the 2. So 6 times 4 is 24. Okay? Then we're going to go 5 times 4 is 20 plus the 2. So 22. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus the 2 is 10. Again, I have to carry that 1 and not for, and I can't forget to add it in. And then 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. If I were to do the area model, I would draw a quick rectangle. I would split it into 4 because I have 4 place values. I would put my 4 over here, 1,000 here, 200 here. 50 here and 6 here. I know that 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. 4 times 200 is 800. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1, 0. 4 times 6 is 24. Then I'm going to add 4,800, 200, 24. Really important to keep it. Lined up, four, two, carry my one, zero below, 5,024. So I got the same thing. Okay. Now it says to visit Google Classroom and watch the video review of the appetizer. Okay. So you've are, you're already doing that right now. Okay. So we are going to move on to the main course. 
which is we're coming back to measuring angles. We touched on this barely at the beginning of the year. Fourth graders, what I want to show you is just some vocabulary. On your um, protractor, we are going to start using the terms zero edge. Okay, so this right here is the zero edge. Okay, the next term is the inner scale and the outer scale. Okay, so when you look here, I have the inner scale here and the outer scale here. Oops, inner scale, outer scale. Okay, so the next thing that we have is the center mark. I'll show you my center mark. The center mark is just going to be that hole right there. Okay, that is the center mark. All right, remember that as we are measuring angles, we actually are not even going to be using this today. We're just going to practice reading. Okay, so you, you don't even need a protractor today, but what we're going to do is we're going to look here. We see that the bottom of our angle, this ray right here, is pointing this way. So we're gonna look for the zero. I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay, we're going to look for the zero. So we know that we are using the bottom, or no, not the bottom, sorry, the inner scale. Okay, so we are going to be using the inner. So I just want you to write under here, write inner, so that you know which one you're using. And then we're gonna count up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So this angle is 70 degrees. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. This bottom ray is pointing this way, so we're going to use the inner scale because that's where zero is. So we're going to write inner, and we're going to count up all the way. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140 degrees. Come down to number three. The ray is pointing this way, so we're using the inner scale. 10, 20, 25, 25 degrees. Okay, for this one, number four, you'll see that the bottom ray is pointed this way, so we're going to use the inner again, and then we're counting up using the inner. Looks like it's about 120, then 125, about 126 or 27, so I'm going to put 127 degrees, okay? Now, these two, I would like for you to pause your video. I would like for you to try these on your own. So go ahead and press pause. Try those two on your own. Okay, now that you tried those on your own, we're going to go ahead and see that the bottom ray is pointed to the right, so we're going to use the inner numbers. We're going all the way around, so we're at 180, or no, sorry, 160, 165, 166 degrees. Okay, did you get anything close to that? So if you got 167, 168, or on this side, if you got 166 or 165, any of those would be okay. Okay, so you have a couple degrees on both sides. Then on this one, we see that the bottom ray is pointed to the right, so we're going to use the inner numbers. We're counting up 10, 20, 30. It looks like 40, but it's one below, maybe two, yeah, two below one four. Sorry, two below 40, so it's going to be about 38. So again, you could do two lower than that, which would be 36 to 40. And you, if you did anywhere from 36 to 40, you got it right. All right, at this time, once you finish that, you can do dessert on Google Classroom. And for that, you are going to... come to this game, and you'll get that through your link on Google Classroom, and then you're going to 
just press it and I'm going to show you how you how you play this game okay so you're gonna click next now it's giving you an angle right here where it says eight degrees okay so you are going to think about where eight degrees would be we see that our ray is pointing to the right okay so you're thinking about where eight degrees would be so if you look here when our ray is pointed to the right, eight degrees is like very slim. Okay, it's right before this tint, so it's very small angle. You're going to use this red toggle so you can make the ray or the angle as large as you need. So I'm going to try to guess. This is an estimating. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're trying to get it as close to eight as you can. So I'm going to pick right there. And then I'm going to press the rocket. Oh, I was close, but I got one for one because I was within two. Okay, so I actually put it at six, but it was supposed to be at eight. So I was close. So now I'm going to try again. Click the next button. It's telling me to do 109 degrees. So again, look at your protractor. Look at about where 109 is. I'm counting, counting, counting. It's definitely going to be obtuse. So then use the toggle. To, I would make a 90 degree angle and then go a little bit further and then let go of it when you think it's there. Press the rocket. Uh, I was close, but not within two, so I did not get that one. Okay, so when you're done with the main course, which is what we just did together, you can do the, res the dessert, which is this game.